Hey everybody, it's Miss Thomas. I'm here to show you how I teach my kids musical mathematics through this paper folding system, and it actually works pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna start with one sheet of paper. Your one sheet of paper represents a whole note, so you would ask the students to draw a whole note, or flatten O as your whole note, okay? And now, you ask the students to fold the paper hamburger style. So, for those that don't, don't know, long ways is hot dog, hamburgers the other way. You crease it real good, and then you say, fold it back out. How many sections do you have now? They'll say two, all right? How many half notes does it take to make a whole note? They'll say half notes are two beats each. A whole note is four beats, so two halves, two half notes. So, hold it back. You're gonna draw a half note on each of these sides. I told the kids it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. So you basically have this, this, and it does like that, okay? All right, so you have two halves to a whole, okay? Now you're gonna fold it again. So crease it really good, and then fold it back out and fold it. How many? sections do you now have? They, they'll say four. All right, four uh, quarter note is worth how many beats? All right, four of what makes out a whole note? So a whole note is four beats, so four divided by four is one. What kind of note has one beat? It is the quarter note. So you're gonna end up putting a quarter note in each quadrant. So I do this the harder way, but it's also faster. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. These kids will come up to you saying, oh, I messed up, can I get another sheet of paper? Nope. It doesn't look perfect. I'm like, well, good, mine doesn't either. I'm making do. Kids nowadays are so high maintenance. Okay, so there's my four quarter notes in each of my quadrants, okay? So basically this tells me two half notes equals a whole note, and four quarter notes equals a whole note. But this is also telling me, look at this, two quarter notes equals a half note. Four quarter notes equals a whole note. Cool, huh? So then, you fold it again. This is the last fold you're going to do. If you want to do sixteenth notes, that's your issue. You can if you want to. I just, I don't even bother with little ones. And so then you unfold it. How many quadrants do you have? You have eight quadrants, all right? You're gonna draw an eighth note in each of those quadrants. Remember, like a quarter note with a flag. Okay, now that you've got that done, it should look roughly like this, okay? What this is also telling you, take one, one of the fours, one of the four quadrants, you have a half note. No, excuse me, you don't have a half note, you have a quarter note. Quarter note in the fourth quadrant, and how many eighth notes does it take to make a quarter note? One, two. See that? There's two eighth notes in that one quarter, in that, uh, one fourth of the quadrant, okay? So, going from the top, whole note is four beats. How many halves does it take to make a whole note? One, two. Two plus two is four. How many quarter notes does it take to make a whole note? So you're looking at the whole page at this point. 
One, two, three, four. Cool. How many eighth notes does it take to make a whole note? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna fold it. Half note is my main focus at this point. Okay. Half note. How many quarter notes does it take to make a half note? One, two. How many eighth notes does it take to make a half note? One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Hold again. Quarter note is the main at this point. How many eighth notes does it take to make a quarter note? One, two. So there it is. You can keep on going with sixteenths. I personally don't. That gets very, very complicated at that point. With the little ones especially. So this is my folding thing that I use to help my kids understand musical math and once they get it they get it and it's really cool to watch it happen y'all take care